Hello, it's Tungle Bugs. Welcome to today's Hearthstone video. We're coming at you with some Mining Warrior, a little bit of Double Battle Cry Warrior, trying to get some Boom Boss Ogren off, really is our goal today. Uh, yeah, uh, this is the new expansion. We have Bam, Bram, we have Double Battle Cries. Uh, we do have the Bram, which is pretty fantastic um, for us, as that is not always the case, which makes this deck not bad by any means. It's still a decent control warrior, but without Odin, Bram is kind of needed, really, to, to get it kicked off. Um, in a decent way. So I will say, uh, yes, we're not playing Odin. We are staying away from the Odin and the double battle cry, armor punching the face type plays. It's just, because I like to, you know, I'm not an OTK person. It's just not me. Uh, Odin probably is better. <coughs> the Odin version, sorry about that, uh, is probably better. So if you're looking for that, um, certainly check hsreplay.net. But we're trying to see if we can't make Bran work with some Let's just destroy their whole deck shenanigans uh, if you if if you if we can. Uh, right now, I guess we're just armoring up. So it gets a little rogue. Mm, right, little jackpot rogue. Sorry. <coughs> <coughs> Things have been a little. Is it this in a recording? <coughs> Not too long ago. It's been a little, a little busy, a little crazy busy. So some of my recordings now have to happen relatively early in the morning so uh my voice sometimes does not is not as ready as i think that i am um i don't think we need the armor here i'm good uh we're just gonna need to control like i said until we get to the brand i kind of want to leave the school teacher until we get brain because that's one of the super powerful uh reasons for that for that card now our opponent also appears like they're playing a slower deck which is kind of neat i saw the rogue and i instantly thought we were going against like a Excavate Rogue that was going to have me beaten down by like turn three or four. Um, but yeah, no, it looks like we're going against a bit of a slower Rogue, which could be uh, nice and fun. Could be fun and juicy. Coin? Sure, sure. Maybe Wishing Well? No, if it was Wishing Well, they probably. Ooh. Nice. Nice. Look at you. More voice cracks from me. Oh, apologies. Igneous, you know, I mean, Igneous is better with the brand, but I think uh, this one's worth us getting something out here. Um, I'm going to take Reinforced Plating instead. Yeah. And the reason, I mean, I know I could have taken the 7, got the 7 armor, but I don't, I haven't done any digging. Um, so I think I'm going to want to play Bran into, like, say, School Teacher, the, the Plating, and then we have Blast Charge, which gives us two digs. Like, I do think Bran into the... Um, Azerite Ox is just way too incredible of a play, so we're going to almost be trying to play to that as well as our more aggressive option. Um, so I'll just bring it up here, I'm sure, by now. Because <clears throat> I'm a bit, a little bit late to the game um, compared to others. Deep Minor Brand, most people probably know what this is, but since we're playing a Reno deck, it effectively just says after you play this, all battle cries for the rest of the game are doubled, which is unreal. Um, it's literally... Okay. Oh, they must have... It's because... Okay, so they did have it. They just didn't have anything from another class early. Which is fine. Which is fine. Um, I think we still just have to play the brand here, but... Same time punching that and using last charge just feels... Good. That's such a good value card. If they don't bounce this to their hand, we might have to get rid of it. Which doesn't feel the best, I admit, but... Argus. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think we have to get rid of that. Um, summon two, two, two elementals with taunt. Well, why don't we punch this instead? Blade storm, blast charge, armor up. Yeah. Give a friendly minion plus two plus two. Sure, and then deal two damage to random minion. Let's go. I'll take the heart blossom. Uh, yeah, that felt kind of bad, uh, admittedly. <laughs> <laughs> to have Brain on six and not play it, but uh, Velarok, I think, is like one of the key cards in the, the Rogue deck. So I also just realized, what did I miss? I knew they gained two mana, but I don't know how they're at ten already. Yeah, see, like, this this is okay to me. Like, they're not going to do anything. We can Brain, we can buff the Brain dealing two damage. We'll take a little bit of tanky face damage, but that's okay. Heart Blossom. And then Punch. Yeah, we take, like, in total, as we gain some armor there, we really only took, like, the one base actual health damage. 
Um, and it gives us our brand out and buffed, to be honest. We have a nice buff brand, which is good. Now, we don't have that much to um, go off of right now. We really want the Boom Boss program. Um, so hopefully with School Teacher, we get some draw power, would be my hopes. Um, and then maybe even the Zola. So if the Boom Boss sticks, we can Zola to give us multiple copies. Hmm, another Burrow Buster. You, you get those bu those burrows busted. Look at a little Drilly Drilly Charger, too. Oh! Ooh. I was kind of like thinking, oh, I hope I get like some kind of whirlwind effect here. I did not. 6-7 is probably not worth a brand. Not when we have the school teacher that we want to play. Well, that's bad. Um, this could be good, especially if we can actually uh, finale this. Reveal the card from each player's deck draw. Draw any of yours that cost more. Ah, I'm going to take... Well, if we draw six cards, we're going to be out of luck. But we're doing it. Ooh, and from the depths first? That will make ours cost cheaper, but their deck is probably still so cheap that it's probably worth it. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to do this. And, and I'm going to play this one first. Boom boss. Zola. Makes me not want to play this, but shuffle your hand into your deck. We'll see, see now it shuffles. So, uh, bum, 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 bum. I guess we just, now that we know that we're going to get the boom boss and the Zola. The gain some armor. Get ready to play Reno next turn. And then um, in the next two turns, we'll be able to boom boss for six or something zola for zero um start putting bombs like a lot of bombs into our deck turn over turn and then gaslight gatekeeper yep board clear uh at this point if they get some quick draw minions would be ideal for me i mean that's not ideal necessarily because it's pretty strong but it means we get more value out of this Reno we're going to play here. Reno technically into the Noggling is possible, but um, again, I think we just want to draw. Yeah, like this could be draw six cards, but it's not from the top of our deck. Um, it's like a random one, so I, I'm not going to do it. Plus, of course, we overdraw if we draw all six. And we know we're getting Boom Boss next turn. So I think we just stick with it. And Boom Boss will be 6 mana or 5 mana, actually. So 5 mana, Boom Boss plus the, the Zola. We could, in theory, Gaslight um, if we wanted to, to try to just start blowing them up right now. Probably depending on what they do. Um, did our opponents leave right before about the Boom Boss? That would not be fun. Come on, Mighty Rye. You must have something in your hand. Good, 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 good. <clears throat> okay, fair enough. Uh, we, that means we technically can kill that and hit their face if we wanted to. <clears throat> My. Yeah, they're going to burn cards on their own. Boom boss. So this should put 16 T's in our deck. I mean, this is free, so we might as well do it. This is going to give us uh, two more Boom Boss throw guns in our hand. And we're just going to... Now, the TNTs are six mana. <clears throat> hmm. I'm going to wait till we put some more into our deck. Especially because they have no minions for us to hit anyway. Like, it's not the, not the perfect thing. Oh. Look at you. Why did that... Oh, that was what I thought it was. I thought that was the two-mana druid card that helped yield seven. And I was like, why did that hurt us? <clears throat> sure. Uh, this is not the good, necessarily, one. So we'll boom boss and noggling. Their deck is so low... That uh, it might be good, it might be worth. Uh, 
And now they have some minions as well, so triple worth. Oh, and Steam Guardian, let's go. Uh, boom Boss, and let's just try it. I'm, I, I'm kind of I'm kind of interested. Well, we didn't win. Well, obviously we didn't win. It doesn't do face damage. What am I thinking? Um, but I want to see if this actually works the way I think it does. I don't know if it uh, should be able to pick bombs. Of course. <laughs> okay. I mean, to be fair, a lot of our deck that's left is cheap. And of course, the one time it's not. Okay, second Conqueror's Banner. Let's go. TNT. There we go. We did draw one, so it does look like that works. And then cast when it's drawn, which should then draw us a different card. Hey, I mean, that's a good one anyway. Need a Rock Totem. Another TNT. So yeah, didn't hit uh, a crazy amount, but we did prove that you can draw TNTs, which means that we actually got um, some good draw power out of that as well. End our turn. Boom. And then, of course, we can, like, Steam Guardian, Needle Rock, and Shenanigans next turn to try to draw some more, or just Gaslight. Uh, at this point, we still have, I think, 10 bombs in our deck, so we're just going to want to Gaslight Gatekeeper, draw them all. I mean, I would love to just add more bombs, but at this point, that's so much overkill, I don't think it's necessary. Right? Like, we can... Uh, and if we really wanted to, we could Needle Rock first. That way we get an extra draw at the end. But this is technically two draws by leaving it um, in the Gaslight Gatekeeper. Breakdance. Oh. Apparently I just got a delivery. My dogs didn't go crazy. Good. Okay. <clears throat> get rid of my Boom Boss. Number two. Actually, they're dealing with the board surprisingly well. Um... I just need to... Ooh. 6-6 six, six with Taunt and Reborn. You a good one. It also puts more cards in their deck, actually, so... Now I'm not even 100% certain. Okay, well, the fact that I can't risk dying here now uh, makes this seem a bit more interesting. Or I don't want to risk dying, I should say. This could take a bit to watch it, to get all these animations, so bear with me, please. Punch, punch, punch. Or bomb, bomb, bomb. And bomb, bomb, bomb. <laughs> so they, they, they shouldn't hopefully have a hand uh, or um, a board when this is over. So they'll be top decking, so I feel like I should be safe. <clears throat> Sir Finley, too. Oh, well, I'm going to be shuffling it back in. Um, there's four TNTs left. Only three TNTs left. By the time I reshuffle this, I just I may not actually have uh, any any left in the deck. I mean, yeah, i got to be careful. Uh, TNT. I guess we forge a couple times. Punch. Forge, forge, hero power just because, and trade. Okay. <laughs> yeah, interesting. Gaslight Gatekeeper. Now, we only have three TNTs left, but, uh, I mean, they're literally top decking, and if we draw any of these TNTs, we just erase whatever they're, whatever they're top decking, right? So, that is a really good top deck on their part, though, admittedly. One that gives them some value. A heal and draw card, I'm guessing. Yep. Sure. I mean, that's just thinning out your deck even further, to be honest. Uh, especially because we have things like Badlands Brawler um, that we could just clear the board anyway. Uh, we have multiple draw power, so this is draw a spell. And we do have two spell, three spells in here that are not, or four spells. Wow, never mind. Deck's only like 50% bombs, if that, so... Astalor is also crazy strong right now. I think we're just going to do Sir Finley, though. Right? Um, yeah, let's do Sir Finley. Kind of effectively try to do the same thing we just did. <laughs> uh, the animations are a little long, but it should uh, pretty much guarantee that we... 
Destroy. Oh, wait, it just replaces. This doesn't draw. That's not the same at all. That was the... So this is not good. This is still pretty good. <laughs> that was not worth it. What was I thinking? Oh, that was silly of me. Oops. Um, But, I mean, to be honest, forcing him to draw four cards right now. Yeah, I'm okay with this. And then now we can Steam Guardian. Okay, we did draw a TNT this time, so that does work. <laughs> Oops. Oh, there goes Krabatoa. That's good. And then the Wrath, so we don't lose the six health AoE. Yeah. Okay, so they're out of cards. Which means our last two TNTs. Yes, it could be good to take out stuff in there uh, on the board or in their hand, but this is it. This is all they got left. We have Sanitize if we need to. Okay, they're, they're, they're just doing it back to us. I think they got rid of our TNTs, but not our last boom boss. Right? Yeah. Or as Vadon, which means if they have um, you know, lifesteal six damage movement, because I wasn't paying attention to what got burned. Okay. Okay. Oh, that was the lifesteal one, right? They did play that earlier. Sure. Nourish. Dehydrate. Burn the rest of my deck. Wow, they're actually... Hmm. That's pretty good. Not going to lie, that's pretty strong. Okay, okay, okay. I see you. I don't like it, but I see it. Um, I think we Dirty Rat... Dirty Rat into Badlands Brawler here. They get two two twos is the only thing, and I have no way of dealing with that. So instead, do we just brawl and deal with one of the two twos? I think we just have to Badlands Brawler here. And actually, this is good. We have to guarantee that this dies, because we don't want to draw cards anymore. Way to go. Turn this around on me. What a, what a weird game. Sure. Oh, right. The Battle Cry goes... <laughs> so you actually don't keep those awesome awesome okay fatigue i'll take fatigue so if you have any like direct damage spells um i'm probably just dead right like I, I don't have that much armor and i have to be careful not to play this uh after i gain armor um we, we'll just probably have to astalor and play our person to gain five armor um and then hope that the 28 damage if we live long enough for astalor for eight mana is enough they uh Burned? We didn't even get enough to dig into our ox. Wow. Oh, wait. This goes off twice. Yeah, we can get ox. Maybe that's the better play than going for the... We can do both, um, I guess. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the 6-6 six, six now is pretty strong. We have no... We have brawl, I guess, but we don't really want to... We don't want to play brawl. It's too slow. Sure. I think we kind of just have to go Ox and try to get uh, some really powerful Ox things. Yep. Now, Ox is five minions, so this should be enough room. I mean, all these giants are just giants, which isn't bad, but we need things more like Haunt or Rosh or, you know. <laughs> uh, I guess I could have... Oh, there we go. Hologram. Thank you. That actually was huge. And yeah, I actually, now that I see that, I kind of forgot Storm Giant had Taunt, so I said that, and I think I did miss an 8-8 Taunt, to be honest. But, sure. Oh, wow. That was close. We're just going to punch them with 
That was an interesting one. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Um, that was a pretty crazy back and forth game. Again, we don't play Odin. I think I'm going to leave it at that one just because it's a long one. Well, going to fatigue. Love the deck idea. Love the boom boss. Kind of cool that they sort of flipped the script and did it back to me with their own uh, method there, uh, which was kind of fun. So I hope you enjoyed that. I know I did. Love the boom boss. Finally glad to get that off. Um, but yeah, thank you. Um, and I'll see you in the next one.